we have to focus on what we do. What we do is disseminate what science is, how it proves things, and how the pseudoscience pretender clowns of astronomy use that word to make you think that they've got empirical proof when they start naming lights in the sky. <laughs> The Earth is not up there with them. No, we're not. We're not one of the lights in the sky. But that's what they'd have you believe. Exactly, James. Thank you for the super chat. That's a good point. Right. And I think that... every, every point made was valid. We just, we can't call it the Feast of Nonsense anymore. Why can't we call it the Feast of Nonsense? That slipped me by also, John. Right. Because the people that are disseminating this information are just trying to figure out the truth. It seems unfair to call it nonsense. <laughs> Oh, you're being facetious. Uh, no worries. I'll pick I just, that too. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying just, that we should not critique them. When I take the position that we shouldn't do it, it's because I don't want it to become the primary focus. But every time we do do it, we are doing it. Even though I'm saying we should not, by virtue of us having the discussion and me saying we shouldn't, we are literally doing it, aren't we? Therefore, it is happening. I can put a complete stop to certain discussions if i choose to for example if we start talking about vaccinations i can just end those conversations it's not like we have to skirt the issue which is what we're doing here or what i'm doing while you make the issue overt because it's your passion you're passionate about wits it you're all fans you're all watching you all want him to say how you no, see things no. i get it <laughs> you are a bastard too, John. i'm just as bad true. as you john and if i want to be that's not I true. I don't even watch. I don't even watch or follow. I get everything here from other people who may have found a clip or something. But right see, from the from the call, super fans who call, share from on, the super fans who share on. it with you. <laughs> hang on, you're you're very keen to call out globe heretics, but when it comes to flat Earth heretics, why well, are you talking this way? Yeah, I mean you. Oh, can, well, you... No, that was a good one, calling us fans. I thought that was that was pretty slick. I like that. Well, you no, know, no, the fans are the ones that are sharing it with you. You know, you're saying tenth. This is not you. That you're getting these links from all the super fans who share the links with you. They're watching. They're sharing. Yeah, well, Lucky old wits. It is what I say. Please share my show, guys. You know, so we can all have this hot topic discussed about flat Earth debate, rather than the super fandom of wits it and his shares that he's getting. Lucky old bastard. Well, can I, I just say it's not just a fandom thing, though. The, like some of us have argued alongside the guy some of us are on a song with the guy you know what i'm saying so it's not just oh we're just fans who cares like you think it's cool to be called a scammer and i hang out with scammers because Has you know said that, I think science proves things did he say that did <laughs> he say that, that that i argued uh, alongside like that's crazy did he say that though did he say we were scammers yeah i'm pretty sure he did Pretty Which sure. Chalk a long letter. Yeah, that was a private conversation, though, so I don't know if we could uh, go into it. Okay, let me just clarify this for the audience, scandals. right? So, Jaron has been on a anti-science tip. Now, I'm gonna try and be as kind as I can to Jaron, right? In his research, he has mistaken, quote, science which from this point forth will be hyper-specific about it, which is the scientific method, the empirical method of science, we will refer to as science, in quotes. Okay? Jaron has mistaken science, in quotes, for pseudoscience. Okay. Now, in the arena we are in, it's riddled with pseudoscience. In fact, 90%, if not more, of the claims that are science aren't science. They're pseudoscience. So for the most part, Jaron is actually correct. Yeah, when he says these science believers with their making it up with maths, yeah, that's all true. He's right. But there's a nuance he's missed, which is they have the reason they're calling everything science is because science is empirical. And if you can lend credence to your maths or your nonsensical assertion, like Earthward rising or Earthward spinning or Earth in orbit, if you can take those maths and make the person you're telling make it 
them believe that it's empirically validated. You use the word of empiricism. So you say, science proves orbits, science proves the globe, science proves Timothée makes your hair shiny. You can use it in that context because we as individuals trained in the Western world education system understand, because we were trained young, that science does prove things. Now, because he's, Joe and others, seen so many people claiming science where it's not proving a damn thing and he can very easily disprove it and show how, he's, like I say, mis misappropriated the use of science when he's decrying science. Because if he had a subtle change in language, which is to say pseudoscience isn't proving anything, we would all be in agreement having a picnic right now. Unfortunately, here on Flat Earth Debate, we're disseminating science as the empirical method and then asking those 90% of people with the claims of science to actually present it in the empirical format so that it can have the credence they are stealing. Anyway, with all that under our respective belts, so we all understand the background, with Jaron's misapprehension in tow, he's then, when we say science does prove things, said that no, given that he's seen 90% of the time nothing being proven and maths rather than science, physics, he said we are scammers. Now I can totally understand his perspective. I've even peppered the, the preamble so that you can, as an audience member, also appreciate how Jaron has reached the position where he's recognised lots of con artists saying they've got science and it turns out not to be, only to hear someone on his own side, like we're moaning about Witsit, saying science does prove things. You can see where that cross wire comes into play. However, in so doing, he also called us scammers. I'm not going to dwell on that too much, but that is the unfortunate truth of this. Now, obviously, I've taken okay. umbrage to that and responded in many ways. But now I want to, in light of actually Bob's death, very much you can reflect on these things and what, in terms of what you cannot achieve when someone's dead. Jaron's not dead. There's a lot that can be achieved with Jaron. Now, Jaron would be an absolutely formidable opponent if he did understand what science was and how it did prove things, because he'd have all of his opponents over a barrel when they said that word. And then he just, had to just has to change his terminology to pseudoscience. Why am I saying all this? Why haven't I said it in the past? Well, because it's not my bloody place, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm not Jaron. I'm not his bloody boss. He can do what the hell he likes. And is it unreasonable for, as you are suggesting, us to critique where he has attacked us personally with pseudoscience claims? Well, no, I'm going to do this so it's at my detriment. I've got no right either, have I? All right, you could just turn this and spin it like I have. Why are you taking it so personally, Nathan? So why called you a scammer? Yeah, that's right. I'll have to eat humble pie because none of you want to. I'll just put it on me. Yeah, I've got no right to, have I? He can do what the bloody hell he likes. We have to focus on what we do. What we do is disseminate what science is, how it proves things, and how the pseudoscience pretender clowns of astronomy use that word to make you think that they've got empirical proof when they start naming lights in the sky. So yeah, there's a lot that can be achieved with Jaron. There's a, probably the same is true for Witsit and Dell and anybody else that comes across our path when they're on our side. But my overarching point is if we only ever focus on how wrong they are, and my, my example of, well, you've got to be a wrong a lot to be right eventually, <laughs> just had the piss taken out of it by John, so I've got to go on to this tact instead and take it upon myself to say, no, I'm not, I'm not in any righteous position to tell Jaron how he should be disseminating science as much as I am You right. always do this, Nathan. You always do this. You always change it to that... Uh paradigm that none of us are in no one is here that i've ever heard said we want to be jaron's boss or what's his boss no one even look we can only control ourselves and that's a hard enough job you, okay? you categorized it. it he shouldn't be saying it as a flat earther so we're in a group with a hierarchy and a structure and certain people in that group shouldn't be saying certain things if they ascribe to that title you've put it into that hierarchical position no, Not me. well, no, that's one way of, uh, you want to spin it that way? Let me spin it the way I see it then. I spin it this way. He had a channel, it was about Flat Earth, he's debunking NASA videos, and then all of a sudden, uh, this channel that I'm on with you and that channel and others with him there, all of a sudden are at odds. Well, why are we at odds? What happened? Well, we had an argument about the scientific method. Okay, well, let's see if there's any... 
uh, credible information that we can see who's on the right side of this argument and who's on the wrong side of this argument. We tried that. That didn't work. Okay, so then now all of a sudden, they're saying we're scammers and they're saying all these things. And I've got some other stuff that I don't want to even bring up that they've said. But the whole point is, all right, fine. They can do what they want. Uh, lines have been drawn. They're going that route. We'll go this route. We'll stick to our program. You go with your program. All of a sudden, somebody says, did you hear what Winston just said? Orbits. Oh, really? Well, I'm not surprised. And then we give a comment and it's done. We're not saying that we're trying to like force them to say other things. They can say whatever they want. Why you say it that way, though? Can't have it both ways. He shouldn't be saying as a flat earther, Andy can say whatever he wants. They could, those two things. No, are... we're not saying he shouldn't be saying. We're critiquing really well. what he's saying. Okay. Oh, no, that's fine. James Richard says, whenever a person says science doesn't prove things, it's because they don't adhere to the method. Yeah, they don't understand what the method is and how it would prove things when they say that science doesn't prove things, because it does. Otherwise, no one would be hijacking the terminology to make people think that they're proving things when they're not. Shout out to LVA, Paul. Have you seen Mitchell from Australia's latest video? I have not. I did see it written by in the chat, though, Paul. Thank you for the super chat. Right, um... That's what I was just talking about. <laughs> well, I just want to say, sorry, sorry John. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just a little bit triggered. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Uh, it's not a moral indictment when I say a flat earther shouldn't be saying that there are he can make things fall at an equal distance from the center of Earth, uh, round Earth, because that's what an orbit is, right? Uh, it, it, I'm not. It's not a moral indictment of him. It's an intellectual indictment of the words that he's using. He should not be saying that if he is a flat earther, is my point. No, fine. You did, you did, no, to be fair, you did contextualize it. it earlier. It doesn't make any sense. It's stupid to say that as a flat earther. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you did go through that. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> so, But it's fun. Uh, We're having fun, course, right? Of course, unless he's got a different definition of orbit that we just don't know. But, you know, that's fine. Like, personally, I don't really care.